morning everyone. It's feeling pretty good out here again today. I'll take it. Boys are eating. Tucks every morning he goes after that chicken. He really he really likes it, so him, Panther, and Gray. I think somebody comes in and cleans up the scraps in his bowl later on in the day, but it's Tuesday and I'm headed for my normal stuff. Um, chiropractor first off, so we're trying to get out of here pretty quick. Um, Don's going to take Jules and get Jules inspected today. And uh, I know the local brick people at EMS Bricks, they did put my bricks in the mail, so probably tomorrow. It's usually overnight from the Wilson area. Good morning! Oops, I just tipped some of the chicken juice over onto my hand. Yuck! Only because it's my camera hand. <laughs> Oops! Oops! Put a little too much broth in this morning. It's a good boy. Don's probably already come back up, but he went out there to get the paper with the unicycle and has already pulled Jules out trying to help me stay on track this morning. Watch out, bud. There she is. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, sweet girl. Well, we're out here on the trail. We're plugging away. Poor Don. I set him up for failure this morning. I accidentally unplugged the thing that he... Well, I unplugged it on purpose, the thing he uses to charge his phone. So I could plug in my MacBook. But then I accidentally forgot to plug it back in so his phone's on fumes. His phone's never on fumes. <laughs> Poor Don. I didn't mean to do that to him. We're going to fix it. We, we come up with a plan. When I'm out there at the kitchen counter with my MacBook for two or three hours, you know, I've had that MacBook since we've had Ruby and uh, the battery's not what it used to be. So it still lasts a couple hours, which is plenty. But if I'm out there for marathon sessions, I have to plug it in. Yep, Don's phone died. <laughs> Sorry, Donnie. They're really working over there at the church, moving dirt around again today. It's all Rosa on the track, and uh, it does not feel like fall out here right now. It's very sweaty, hot, it's humid. It's very humid. So, I am moving along, though, trying to keep myself from being late today. I guess it's good incentive to walk at a exercise pace. This is the part of the trail that I love in the shade by the creek. It's always like five degrees cooler over here. It's great. I'm in Ruby, air full blast. Uh, ETA is 11 o'clock sharp. You know, the usual, no extra time. And another lifetime, I'm gonna have cushion 15 minutes everywhere I go. <laughs> At least it's only a couple of days a week and not every day like it used to be, right? It used to be on a schedule every day and now it's much less. A lot of golden leaf in the fields. Not the ugliest crop ever. Keep on filming here. I love this spot around this next bend in the road. They've really been working hard to um, restore the barn at this old farmhouse and um, it's always a very pretty sight. Turn the camera out the side window. And they've totally, well, I guess they still have a little bit to do, but they have seriously been working on the barn. It's just 11 and I'm here. Always a hill. <laughs> Not much of one, but still. 
working the knee, working the knee. I did not turn on climate today. And it sounds like Ruby might be cycling anyway. Cabin control. Poor baby, she needs to be washed. But Donna's been doing so many other things for me. One time he offered to clean her and I'm like, no, no, robots are more important. Johnny's more important than my car being clean. And I stand by that. Oh! Well, there's two threes and two bolts at least so far. There's the Nero. It's different than the one we've seen before. The one before was uh, gray color. This one is uh, white. Always has that blue EV signaling trim. There's two more bolts. So there's four bolts here today. Actually, there's five. There's a white one over here. This X is private owned. I run into these people, see them, wave at the couple frequently. I'm not sure if they're at the Italian restaurant or in Guardian Angel. I've never seen where they've come out of, but they're friendly. We exchange Model X waves. My knee's feeling pretty good. It wasn't feeling horrible today, but pulsing seems to keep it where I'm pretty comfortable on it. They've started putting out Halloween. I wonder if you quite did. I might have to stop on the way through town. That's important. I made out like a bandit. Really good prices today. So excited that they put out the Halloween stuff. Um, I'll pop up a few pictures here because I'm not sure that I showed, took a video. Oh, there's the pole star that I didn't see on the way in. I don't know if it was there or not, but there it is. And I still think they ought to put a couple Model X in the fleet. People would rent them for weddings and prom and I think they're missing out by not, is this the, uh, C40. It sure is. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say they have, I didn't see a Y today, maybe around back, but they pretty much have one of every EV in the fleet now here today, I think that I've ever seen. So they're well stocked today. You can take your pick. Run a, run a Tesla this year and use the supercharging next work, network and uh, in a 24, 25 time frame, try out some of the other cars on the Tesla supercharging network with an adapter or a new cars with it built in. I put on my mask in there. I haven't taken it off yet. This one gentleman, he was sniffling, sneezing, coughing, older guy. And he made me so nervous I pulled the mask out of my pocketbook. I'm like, no, I'm not shopping and getting sick today. Yeah, I guess I was thinking about it a little more. And um, there's another Nero, a white one. So they've gotten two of them in. And here's another three. I'm just not seeing a Y today. And there's the other Volvo C40 and I'm curious what this car on the end is. I don't think it's an EV. I can't tell for sure but there's another C40 up there plugged in. So why no EV6 Ionic 5 or Mustang Mach-E? I mean I've got every other EV. It's almost be better than going to the individual car lots, right? <laughs> Just come look at the cars that hurts and nobody bothers you. You can Check them out on the outside at least. I mean, how cool is that a place other than the Drive Electric Week where you can just go and see all the cars in one spot? It's pretty cool, I think it's pretty cool. So I made a small donation at the back, literally a puny little donation, but you know, every little bit helps get it out of my car. I've got so much, I don't even have Michelle's birthday gifts in the car right now and the whole back is filled, that Hello Kitty 
that I got last week and the squish animal, squishable is back there and it's it's fun. I'm gonna have to put the groceries in the middle room or up row or up front, but since it's warm out it'll be Ruby says 94. That's just from sitting though. Um I will uh I'll probably put them in the middle row. Keep the air conditioner on them. It's not the right time of year to put the groceries in the front. Michelle and I are still <laughs> texting back and forth. Of course, I'm using uh, voice to text um, about the shopping experience in there today. The prices were super reasonable, um, better than of recent. So that really made the shopping fun because you, you didn't have to say no because stuff was too much. And also, uh, this store said they didn't have any more unless Fuquay sends some more over. That is all of their Halloween stuff. God, this full parking lot today. So it was really great that my timing, that I was in there right when they were um, putting it out. Yeah. I think I, you know, Michelle and I didn't buy, certainly didn't buy it out, but we cer also certainly got everything that we, uh, everything that we saw that we really felt was a good addition to our collection. So, yeah. Please let it work out Thursday that we can go. Because through. I'm running out of room in Ruby. No, I've gone to Michelle before and had the back and the front full. So the front is available still. <laughs> I'll have to look and see what the temperature is because it is seriously hotter than I want it to be out here today by more than I was expecting. I think they were wrong and it's, <laughs> hotter than they thought. I am ready for a break in the temps. I told the ladies in there it's so great to see the fall stuff coming out because we're just desperate to think about cooler temperatures. It's uh, going on three o'clock. I'm uh, probably uh, 30 minutes later than typical, maybe 45. I guess I was having that much fun at Guardian Angel today. I didn't have any reason why I had to be home at a specific time, so no worries there. I think Don is actually still doing a little work. Um, he had several things to do today. He was going to try to get Jules inspected if if he finished up soon enough. There's a why. Um, Clarissa gave me a picture for Johnny. A uh, big uh, wave and a smile. She enjoyed hearing how he's doing at school and asking about how the robot competition went. I showed her a few pictures. You know, this is why I keep on going back to this Whole Foods. Um, even though now the Fuqua Harris Teeter has quite a few organic products and pretty good selection at their store is that so many of the people at this store have been here for five or ten years and I know them and we chit chat it's kind of like guardian angel for me I just make friends with all the store people wherever I go you know I've always treated um well first off I've run a register and done stocking in a grocery store so I have done that job and um you know, I just like making friends with people wherever I go. So where the people are nice, I keep going. And this store and Guardian Angel, both locations, certainly fit the bill there. And just like that, I am home. I stopped and got the mail. I'm very offended that funeral homes are sending us information packets. <laughs> That's just horrible. Or not, but... I didn't take it too good. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. From a big shopping day? Yeah, it was Halloween stuff at Guardian Angel Day. That's one of the best days of the year when they put out the Halloween uh, stuff. Okay. You follow closely behind Christmas and Easter. Sure. <laughs> cool. So I got the two mugs, the pumpkin spice soap. It smells really good. Is it Halloween yet? And the little black cat candle holder because, well, everything was priced really reasonable and I just couldn't. I, I thought back and forth on this one and I just couldn't, I just couldn't leave it. And then I got my table runner in here on the towel bar, come sit a spell. I thought it was quite appropriate. And yes, one of the lights we bought the other day, it is flickering unless you 
ting it pretty hard and then it quits. And it's a GE So bulb. if you ever buy stamps, United States Postal Service stamps online, you will start getting these very pricey, thick, hard paper, beautifully printed uh, things in the mail. Oh, they come about twice a month. So there's some, it's all the new stamps, Ruth um, Bader Ginsburg. But this Orias Rex uh, stamp is new for, we go into some, I actually hadn't heard of this, Asteroid Bennu. We're headed to an asteroid, the Christmas stamps, the snow globe this year. I'm personally digging those if only I sent, still sent cards. There's one more space one in here that I wanted to show. Come on, uh, it was time for a SpaceX stamp, you know, like the two um, boosters returning. But they have the, one of the rovers, hang on. It's here somewhere, you're seeing the pretty stamps. You know they have a birthday stamp now that's like celebrate and stuff, like so you can customize stamps for the occasion, there it is. The Web Space Telescope stamp I thought was really pretty cool. And of course they have like these fancy plates and mission notes and stuff like that. They have thank you stamps now. So don't be boring. Go to the USPS online store. You don't have to order, you know, from the catalog. All I do is if I want one of these is I just, and they don't charge you anything extra and they deliver them to your house. So if you've never done that, I recommend doing it at least once. Get your Christmas stamps early. Cause you know, if you go into the post office in December, they're not going to have those snow globe stamps. Oh, and they still have the elf stamps from last year. Just adorable. Makes me want to send Christmas cards. Well, I now have a bucket full of bungee cords. Nice long ones, too. I mean, I, I got some really good long ones. Uh, so uh, that's going to be handy. I think she got me about 20 bungee cords for 12 bucks. And they're all, like, brand new. A couple of them are the really good ones. Uh, you know, the... Uh, they're obviously a collection i mean this one's different and i got one of those uh really good uh black black rubber strap strap ones was included so uh it's uh some guys bungee cord stash oh it's several of these little ones uh handy ones uh so some guys bungee cord stash got uh donated and um uh, his lost my game. Well, I don't know what was going on with her yesterday, but she's been totally acting her normal self today. Um, so that's excellent. I'm going to work on the fencing and decoration in the front of the building. I'm really at a standstill on going up until parts come. But I think I'll have, you know, um, some parts to either tomorrow or Thursday from the local people and then... I do need some parts that they didn't have um, from one other seller to come to. So, we'll see. And it's afternoon coffee time. Well, there's the um, front mostly decorated. Um, obviously, there's a few parts that aren't right. And um, I need more. Well, I started on this side. More green in amongst the fence they're supposed to be lead. this is supposed to go all the way around but i made really good progress it's a lot of work doing that fine detail work and pretty good and I feel so bad for Marty he's under the wicker chair I opened the door and called for him to come in the house and he didn't want to come I'll go out there with a small towel and make sure he's not too wet afterward I mean he's getting some block by the cushion but poor guy Stripes on the platform tucks is either under the bench or under the window and I think Morris went under the platform Ah... <sighs>